Good morning. I'm Joseph Sampson, um, and it's early morning here in Bakersfield, California. We're, uh, my buddy and I are going to be heading out today to go cane harvesting. Um, we're going to head out to one of my favorite spots for California gold. And it's about two to three hours away, and uh, uh, I'm going to show you how, how we harvest it, what I'm looking for when we're out there, and uh, it should be a good day. We're getting a lot of cane. Okay, so I'm here um, at one of them. It's my favorite spot for cutting cane, harvesting cane. Um, it's produced some really awesome cane for me over the last couple of years, actually, a year, year and a half. Um, and usually what I'll take with me into the field is just some loppers. Um, sometimes, however, I don't even need the lopper. The majority of the time here at this spot, um, the cane is it's just it's ready to be picked, really. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I uh, uh, harvest the cane, cut it out, pull it out. So I want you to follow me in, and I'll show you uh, show you how I do this. So as I walk in here, I see getting out of here, and the cane's kind of laying down, but it's it's obviously this is really green. I would never cut that and, and take it. But inside of here, if I look, there's dead standing cane that's ready to be cut. So, I get up in here, this is the crappy part about the job part of it, is that you really got to get into the into the stand in order to get the, the, the cane. So what I'll do is step in a lot of the time, this is that, and the cane really is strong <laughs> a lot of the time. Um, and I'll find a stock, like this is a good stock. And what I'll do is I'll just get down to the bottom of it, get this stuff, this stuff out of the way. And it just pulls free. So normally, and then what I do is just pull it all out. And this stock will probably be a good 20, 30 feet long. So I can get quite a few tubes off of it. Obviously, the, the bottom tubes are going to be too big in diameter. And the top tubes, when you get to the very top, are too small in diameter. Like this tube right here. At this point in the stock, this tube is probably 18 or 19 millimeters in diameter. But if I test it, I'm pretty sure it's going to be soft. Yeah, it's decently soft. And um, the this sta this stand produces great cane, so um, I know that it'll be good. So I can use probably like 10 or 12 tubes off of this one stock, which is great. So I just end up finish pulling it out. Got the stuff up here. Usually I break that off and um, and go. Now, let me demonstrate. Like if this was a green stock or if it hadn't been if it hadn't been um, dead standing for so long, I wouldn't have been able to pull it up, you know. But with the dead standing stuff, it's been there so long. The moisture in the soil where the where the stock is coming up, the moisture in the soil and the soil itself has started to erode, not erode, decay. The, the cane and so it eats away at that part of the cane so it's able to be pulled up. Let me see if I can find another. This one's already been broken off and ready to go. But let me see if I can get you another. Here we go. There we go. And it pulls up. got a beautiful golden stock obviously every time I don't check it but I check it later but that's really soft that's beautiful really really nice I know that'll make some really some great reeds so I just finish pulling it out and after I've got a big enough pile of them I like to chop them down and process them take them home all right so I have with me a piece of cane that I just grabbed out um, of this stand and um, as you can see it's it's been dead for a while it's dead standing um, um, the one thing that makes it so good is that it's soft and the way that I actually tell with the uh, softness is I'll pull this sh the sheathing or I don't know exactly what that's called the husks actually that, that form along the the, uh, the tube um, of the cane and what I'll do 
is if I'm wanting to test and see if the cane is soft, I just take my thumb and see if I can make a mark in the, uh, in the cane. So we seem to hit a pocket of really some amazing long stalks. And I want you to see like the size of this stalk that my buddy Dan's pulling out here. I'm going to grab it. <laughs> Sorry. Super long. Just keeps coming. Probably 20, 30 feet. We just got a bunch of them. Let me show you right over here. Look at this. All of these. You know, just one big pile of them. Alright, so after a few hours of dirty, hard work, um, this is what you get. A pile of cane. Pretty big pile. So somehow we got to get this um, we got to get this over to near the truck and get it chopped so it's linked to so it'll fit on the truck. But this is what you get. Once you get in the pile, you got to cut it to length, obviously, so it'll fit on the truck. So Dan is showing how that happens. Just take a quick um, electric saw and uh, cut it to length. You can see how they've been piled up, bundled up, a little bit hanging off the back. We'll tie them down. Once it's all in, we'll tie it down. Alright, that's it. There's a lot of time and care that goes into harvesting the cane. I hope you've enjoyed the journey today, and I look forward to meeting some of you reed makers in person. Thank you.